You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Good morning, uh, good evening, good day, wherever you are and whatever time it is. Just know that we are grateful to have you here. And I know you're here for a reason, right? You won't, you need some information, but maybe a little entertainment too. Well, you're in the right spot. Don't worry. We've got a lot for you today. Actually, some uh, an interesting question that came in. And in regards to actually what happened two weeks ago, kind of regarding um, the flip-flop on the Mavic 3 release, I think that this is actually going to be a question. The question is in regards to when we're going to see the release of the M3. But I think we can actually provide some useful insights based off of what happened two weeks ago. Hmm. So this show might actually be more than just clickbait, so give it a chance. (laughs) And remember, we don't dictate the question. So um, I may like go into the Drone U community once and say, hey... I want to know about X, Y, or Z. You guys mind asking it, but this this was not from that. That's happened a handful of times in the 1,100 plus episodes, probably. So It is. Well, anyway, let's get uh, fired up and let's get started uh, today. So thank you very much for joining us. If you do support DroneU by becoming a member and having access to the largest drone school, online for $47 a month. Some people, they look at our competitors where they get their part 107 license and they're like, why is drone you so cheap? You know why? Maybe it's a test. Maybe we're testing you because we only want a certain kind of audience who thinks long-term, who thinks, huh, maybe they give me all these questions because they genuinely want to give me different pathways to help me better understand what I want to do and how to be successful at that. Well, that is true. We do do that. And since we have more classes and more depth than, well, literally anyone else out there, it makes me wonder why you haven't become a member just yet. And I know there are numerous reasons, but don't forget that the investment in knowledge and yourself, well, that pays the greatest dividends. Not to mention a fantastic community of pilots that uh, are out there helping each other every day, which I think is pretty cool. All right, so we ready to jump into this uh, shortest question of uh, we sure Astro are. News history? Yep. Hi, well, do you know when the new DJI Mavic 3 will be released? Thank you. So the name here is Morty. I'm going to assume that's accurate. And uh, we appreciate the question. Ask DroneU.com. If you have a question, we'd love to hear from you as well. So we had someone actually email yesterday or a couple days ago and ask if uh, we would recommend that they go ahead and buy the Mavic 2 Pro or if they wait for the Mavic 3. And I always struggle with that question because we don't know when the Mavic 3 is coming out, right? So it's not a true comparison. Not to mention the Mavic 3 is probably going to cost more and so forth. But that sort of fits into what this question is talking about. So please enlighten us. Wow, that's a, that's an interesting question. Um, so <clears throat> you heard what happened uh, with Haya a couple weeks ago, right? I don't think I did, actually. So Haya like, reported on the fact that uh, there was a leak in China that was showcased. I think, I think it was September 26th was the day that they were going to launch uh, the Mavic 3. And he posted a photo from a Chinese website um, that looked like, you know, that was the case. And then a bunch of people essentially were just saying, no, 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 that's from the new Agris or whatever. And uh, that that's actually like fake news. What is fake news when people are asking questions that they don't know the answers to and we're just trying to dig and find the information and use our contacts? So the the premise of fake news is kind of funny because it's like, you're like, you asked a question that you don't know and then you asked us to dig for it and we came up with something and now it's fake news. It's like, ah. I think that that kind of blurs the line of what fake news means, but I'm not the one to define it, so I don't really uh, care. All these 2020 <laughs> buzzwords or 2019 buzzwords, whatever. Yeah, either, either way. So that led to um, what? Gosh, I was trying to actually like 
the shutting down the uh, the thought process took me away from my uh, ideological train <laughs> of where I was going. Um, but no, it essentially... A lot of that thinking does do yeah, that. Huh. Um, essentially, long and the short of it is a bunch of people called him out on Twitter. He took it down. Ended up being an uh, interesting move on traffic as far as that's concerned. Um, and I actually had linked to his article and I said, you know... I, we may see the Mavic 3 in late September. Um, but, you know, when we try to answer that question for now, let's ask ourselves, when did they launch the Mavic 2 Pro? It was at the end of the summer in 2018. Um, I will never forget this day uh, because I actually, I, that was the day I met. Was that the day I met Haya? I think it was. Yes, it was. It was the day I met the Haya. Day. Yeah. Wow. I'm like, actually like, holy cow. Because Peter was the person who was like, no, 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 you need to meet Haya. He's like, don't blow me off on this one. <laughs> you need to meet Haya. Peter was right. <laughs> Peter was right. <laughs> like a lot of times. True. Uh, I'll give you that, Peter. All right. You're welcome, GFY. Um, so <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, I can say that to Peter because he's my friend and I don't care what anyone else thinks about and that. And he's a New Yorker. Yeah. You got a problem, <laughs> huh? No. It's actually a term of endearment if you live in New York. That's true. Uh, <laughs> it's very true. Um, Ask Dave and John. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. I'm grateful for them as well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, going back to it, August 2018, that's when we saw the Mavic 2 Pro come out. DJI did their big launch. Uh, we all got our hands on it before we went. In fact, I will never forget because all the DJI pilots um, were nervous when I was the first person up to fly the thing. And I was about to fly it through all these ropes. And the guy was like, turn off landing protection. And it was like a new feature they had just added. Mm. And I was like, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> what so, other good ideas yeah, do I need yeah, to yeah. hear? So then I went through every single setting in the menu really fast and then changed everyone's minds at the DJI pilot booth. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't say, just do, you know? And that was a really good time. That was, that was for me a time where I got to prove myself. And that's why I said that because it was a good memory for me. Uh, now, that being said, when was the Mavic uh, Pro released, right? And I don't actually remember when the Mavic Pro was released. But if we take the trend of the Mavic 2 Pro and we think about who the audience is, which is a much wider gamut of audience than, say, the Phantom or the Inspire or the M300, right? Like, this is a consumer-based audience. So... Does August mean anything important? People are going back to school. They're getting back in the stores, right? You have the, in a lot of states, you have the tax-free weekend where mm. you can you can just buy, and electronics are included in this, mm -hmm. you can buy electronics tax-free, right? So it's kind of the time of year where, where people are buying anyway. Consumption goes up at that time of year anyway. Mm. Is that why they released it? Did they release it in August because it's the end of summer and they thought, oh, this is a great time to reinvigorate the creative spirit? Um, and then we saw Haya saying, hey, September 26th, we may see the new Mavic 2 Pro. This is the uh, added information. Uh, we learned from two insiders to not expect um, the Mavic 3 this summer. Hmm. And I've heard that song and dance from DJI before. But the end of September, I wouldn't consider that summer, right? Uh, it depends on where you where you grew up, and not where you live, where you grew up. Here in New Mexico, that is definitely not the not the end of summer. <laughs> That's like October, maybe November. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little too specific on that. What did you mean? What did you mean by well, your question? Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to decipher exactly what you're saying because you're saying it, you you heard from some insiders that it's probably not going to be in the summer, and I'm a very literal thinker, and so when I hear September, I think fall. And so I think, does that mean it is coming in the fall, which I consider September to be or to be the start of? That's what I was thinking. Actually, that's so a, sorry for muddying that's the waters. That's a really good point because um, these people have been known to specifically get things lost in translation, if you know what I'm saying. I can imagine, just like we would if we're selling something over there, right? And you I make mean, a really powerful point. Right. What is the technical end of summer? August. What is it? Twenty. It's your birthday, right? August twenty yeah, first. Technical. Or, it's right around my birthday. That's yeah. right. So 
September summer solstice or winter sol. No, I don't no, know. No. It's not one of the solstices. Never mind. Forget that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and welcome back to the <laughs> politics and climate change with Bob. Coming I'm, up, Bob on Bob. <laughs> All right, Bob. I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> Oh, uh, we're all human, everyone. Just remember <laughs> that. All right. Uh, okay. But you bring up a really good question. Um, you know, hey, end of summer, that's technically August. So what if d- maybe there is some credence in this whole September ideology? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wondering. September, I guess, would kind of fit within the mold of DJI's, we'll say, approximate time frame for launching hmm. these consumer style drones, right? Spring or fall, spring or fall, spring or fall. Because it's always teased at CES, dropped in the spring, you know, um, so... Mavic 2 Pro. Mavic 2 Pro was launched on August 23rd, 2018. What about the Pro? That's, let's see, September. Okay, it's we're definitely seeing a in September. Yeah, we're yeah, definitely yeah. seeing a pattern um, You here. know what? I know everyone was was telling Haya fake news, um, but uh, <laughs> but you know what? I think it might actually be September. <laughs> Unless it's like a football game and you run, 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 play action, throw. Yeah, right? and here and here's like the bombshell. <laughs> Who cares, right? Yeah, <laughs> totally. Uh, you either love to fly and you're out there making money, or you're you're just excited to see maybe what. DJI comes out with next? Well, here's who cares. People like perhaps Morty and, and the person that emailed us who's, who are trying to make a decision on buying a new drone. And maybe I should say who right? cares in the sense of practical, like I always think as a commercial pilot and that's not the best way to go about it. I should be thinking as a drone pilot because mm-hmm. we all started from the same place and to divide uh, drone pilots is only going to hurt the industry. So that said, I can understand why people care as far as like, oh, cool new product. I meant who cares in the terms of the practical application of your business and amortizing your equipment and understanding when to purchase new things. Because I will just say, Rob, that I'm probably going to buy a Mavic 2 Pro with my own money. Uh, here A soon. Mavic 3? No, a Mavic 2. I know we already have a Mavic 2 Pro, uh-huh. a Mavic 2 Zoom, Mavic 2 Enterprise, but I want to buy another Mavic 2. Two Pro, because I can hack them, because I get to do whatever I want with that drone, because I am a responsible pilot. That's good. I get the other, um, one. And the other one goes in my bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Thank you. Whatever I, you're celebrating, I'm yeah. happy for you. Yeah. <laughs> so. Although if you're celebrating now, it's a little weird, but. Uh, yeah. Okay. I get what you're saying. But I, but it's cool. I mean, teach what if own. I was on a sabbatical? I'm not sure how that matters. I'm not sure either. I just thought <laughs> I would. Maybe it does to you. I don't know. Yeah. And if it matters to you, Paul. <laughs> well, thank you, Rob. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> so we still haven't, so we still don't know. I'm landing on September. I think Haya might be onto something. All right. So I'm saying Haya is not fake news, um, that he's actually like maybe actually onto something. And I think that uh, our Chinese counterparts were just trying to be like, wait a minute, pump the brakes. Because, and I want to bring this up because I saw John McBride write this in a Facebook group. And I think it deserves uh, some credit here. And he was like, uh, I think, and I'm, I'm apologize, John, for not uh, quoting you directly because I don't have my computer in front of me. And I happily deleted Facebook off my phone almost a month ago, and I haven't been happier since. So apologies for not quoting you directly. But one thing I saw was John was like, I really don't like when we see these stories about product releases and when they don't really know when they're going to happen. I'm sure when you sell drones, you really hate that. Yeah. Well, uh, if you think about it from his perspective, right? Yeah, like, oh, it makes sense. <laughs> you know? Um, and then someone else like refuted and they're like, uh, if, you know, if someone's really uh, waiting that long to buy a drone, are they really your type of customer? And, you know, he kind of, he bridged it together and he's like, he said, you know, essentially that, um, people don't know what they don't know and that they don't consider everything and they think of the drone says this but it actually doesn't do why and so he was like it does hurt sales yeah but it's all, another way to look at that is it's a pipeline yeah that person is probably going to buy three months from now so it's a sale then you know what and that's a really oh man Rob oh, bombshell for Paul <laughs> uh, um, you're building what everyone has failed to do with their online 
companies. And I think it's what we have done so well, uh, which is build trust. Because yeah. if you are telling, you know, your audience like, yeah, I think it's coming in September, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. All we can do is, is, you exactly. know, all we can do is look at patterns, which we just did. And we explained to you, right. And all we can do is we know that, you know, based off of the market, we can expect to see X, Y, or Z. We don't know. Right. And I would say that DJI is pushing a corner right now where if they don't launch something that like completely blows everything else out of the water, because no offense, Skydio's autonomy engine, um, makes DJI, uh, uh, whew, look like, um, how do I say this? Look like 3DR. But it's only their autonomous engine. Only, yes. And I mean, yeah. nothing else. Well, and, Very and powerful I have point. really enjoyed flying the Skydio, but I'm an amateur to say the best. But um, It's not true. Anyways, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, you just said you'd buy a Mavic 2 Pro, another one that you want to, that you will. Well, yeah, and I want to go back to why I was, uh, why I was mentioning this, right? We kind of expect the market, based off of the market dynamics, for DJI to come out with something so groundbreaking that it takes your attention away from everything else, right? If you launch that thing in August and September, and then you start delivering in October, guess what you just did? You just took away Skydio's big announcement of the XE2 or whatever they're calling it. And that's a very smart move. So that makes sense as why DJI would wait for that time frame. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very smart. But going back to building trust with your clients, right? If, you know, John were to say like, yeah, you know, we expect this. We're looking at patterns. But again, we really don't know. And then if I were John, this is the argument that I would make is I would say, look, guys, they can say whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Have we not learned that DJI can literally say whatever they want and get away with it? Mm -hmm. At what point are you going to start asking yourselves, well, they say it can do all this, but what do I know can get the job done? Mm -hmm. Because in the wake of some uncertainty in the coming years, uh, you know, do you want a drone that says it can do X, Y, or Z? Or do you want a tool that like your Toyota Camry, you know every morning that you go outside, whether it's dumping snow or whether it's a hurricane or whether it's a dust storm in Albuquerque, that thing is still turning on. <laughs> like, it is still firing up and it is still going to work because it's a Toyota Camry, right? Everyone mm -hmm. knows that. Or a yeah. Honda Civic, right? Either one. And I say that. And Rob drives a Honda Civic now. So that whole Honda Civic joke has really gone full circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good little car. Good job, Bill, on who's going to make the Honda Civic of drones. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but you're absolutely right. That building of that trust. And if you just, I mean, if I were in his shoes, and again, I'm not. And so this is very hypothetical. I don't own a drone, a business that sells drones. And so there are idiosyncrasies to that that I'm not aware of, I'm sure. But it does seem like if you just sort of lay it out, the more transparent you are and the more you say, this is everything I know. These are all the facts as we know it. This is what the speculations are as we know it. Try to educate the customer and then say, now that you know all that, make the best decision that you can. And I'm sure John would say, yeah, but not everyone is actually going to use logic and rationale and come to that conclusion like that. And Well, but again, so then, so then you're talking about Oof. I, yeah, I don't want to get into that. I mean, it's assumptions of assumptions at that point. Yeah, I mean, you got to give people the benefit of the doubt to, like, why am Which I to, why is am I hard. To, why am I to think that I'm so much smarter than that person? A exactly. They can make up their mind just like I can. Yeah. So we get we get a little humility. Let, let's have a little humility. And I'm not saying John doesn't. Love no, John. John's a, killer a really cool dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Never obviously, called me back everybody Friday, knows that. But you know, hey. Well, that's not being a cool dude. <laughs> but no, we, we really do love John. So I'm not saying anything about him. But no, I mean, and a lot of this is just business philosophy too. And now it we're, really is. Right? And so now we're getting off track. No, <laughs> but it's I, fun to talk about. <laughs> I, you know what? We got, look, do we do these shows for you? Yes. Do we enjoy them? Most of the time. <laughs> so yeah. so my, my point in saying that is we like to get a little uh, ideological enjoyment as well. So if you do enjoy it, will you let us know? Will you write us an email or tweet us? Or uh, I'm on Instagram all the time uh, now. So if, if you're wondering what I'm up to, the drone you uh, at, on Instagram. So And yeah. by the way, I push all my Insta stuff to the Facebook story. So mm. if you're on Facebook, you can see it. Oh, cool, so. cool. And and it really helps us, too, if you subscribe to the uh, show on uh, YouTube. 
But let us know what you think about these uh, ideological, as Rob would call them, diatribes. Uh, I like them. <laughs> um, I do too. I just, I want to make sure they like them, right? Because we don't have to be rolling the camera for you to have some of these conversations. True. You'd be surprised how many of these we have when the camera's not rolling. Let me ask you this. Would you, would you, do you think that the audience would benefit from these conversations? Yes. On that bombshell, have a good day. <laughs> Hope you agree.